Hey guys, today I'm going to give you an update on gun school. We've got projects that I have to do for modern gun school, and I've got the first two completed and getting ready to send those back to the school. So I wanted to show them to you before I send them. So I think on one of the earlier videos that we did about modern gun school, I showed you this stock and what it looked like when I got it. I had a pretty even finish on it as far as color and then it looked more like an oil finish rather than urethane or any type of hard finish on the gun. So I had stripped all that off and used the true oil finish that was sent in the package with this and actually wound up having to do this thing twice because the first time the color was fine and it looked nice as far as the color, but that finish is a little bit difficult, if you want to say, to work with uh, at times. If you get it the least little bit thick on the gun and you just let it stay there, and I, I had the gun stock hanging like this to, to be able to dry, so when the spots that were a little thick, as it sat there, it took takes that stuff so long to dry, you have to allow at least 12 hours in between coats of the stuff. So as it was hanging and there was a little bit of thickness in the finish, it decided it wanted to run down the stock. And since I didn't go back out and check on it, those, stock, those uh, runs dried on the stock. And so when I tried to sand those back out, even them up, it left a spot that looked different on the stock. And I went ahead and tried to touch it back up and redo the stock and thought I had got it out. Well, right before I was thought I was finished with this thing, I went out and looked at it, and there was a couple of spots that were just dull. They, the rest of the, the stock was fairly shiny, but there was a couple of dull areas that would not buff back out. So we wound up having to strip this thing back down and do it a second time. So I did it still with the same true oil finish, but I did it a little bit different this time. So when I was putting the coats on there, I would stay out there with it. And if it had started to run at all, I would take the, the steel wool or whatever I was app uh, applying it with at that point and smooth those runs back out so that it would dry more evenly. Took a little while to do that because I'd wait for a little while and then uh, come back in and go back out to the shop about 30, 40 minutes later. It was started to have sagged, so I'd spread it back out again. Had to do that two or three times before I let it dry overnight to be able to get the finish exactly like I wanted it. So wound up doing, I think, four coats of finish on this, buffed out the last coat, and then put two coats of a wax that I used to use on some of my uh, wood turning projects. And it made a very hard polished finish on the gun. I think it looks, looks pretty nice. And the color on it is even as far as how it looks on the stock. There's not a light spots or dark spots on it. So that's one of the things that they're looking for. What what they're looking for is the, the stain to be the same color all over the gun, the finish not to have any dull spots on it, not to have any runs or anything like that in it, and it just to be uh, an overall good looking stock. So hopefully they'll like it. We'll see once I get, it, uh, get my grade on it, and then I'll let you know. Project number two is a filing project, and it's not paper filing, it's metal filing. So what you're doing on this project is you take a piece of steel rod that they send you and you use the files that were sent with the, the project number one. And when you get this piece of steel, the ends are kind of jagged looking. And the whole point of the project is to file this thing off perfectly flat 
and perpendicular to the side of the rod. So you take the a little engineering square and when you put it on there, put the long axis down the, the length of the rod and then the, the crossbar across the top, make sure you don't see any light coming through uh, in the area when you hold it up to the light to make sure that uh, you've got the thing perfectly flat. And then you take a magic marker, color the end of it and run the file across it a couple of times just to see if there's any lower high spots in there. And so you do that a couple of times, make sure you get it perfectly flat so you don't have any dips in it. And then make sure that it is perpendicular to the edge of the rod. And then they want you to practice on both ends, but then you mark one end that you want them to actually look at to grade. So uh, I got the arrow here pointing to the, the end that I want them to, to look at. Uh, but I think both ends are should be within tolerance of what they're, they're looking for, I think, but I think this end is probably looking a little bit better. So again, once I send this in and I get my grade on it, I'll let you know whether they, they thought it was satisfactory or not, but uh, I think it is, so we'll go from there. But that's the update that we got right now. I'm still working through the, the lessons in the book, and as I get further along, I'll show you some more projects. So check out DoubleEagleGunWorks.com for more information. Like and subscribe down at the bottom. And we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.